a good morning good evening good night from wherever you are watching us and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to learn how to use dream studio dream studio ai helps you to generate images like the ones you can see on the screen here they have been generated using dream studio you can create art photographs and illustrations in any style that you can imagine using ai now to get to start using dream studio you simply go to dreamstudio.com and i'll be leaving the link to that in the description of this video and then you register for an account and uh, once you register an, uh, for an account up here it will take you to the home page here this is the dream studio ai home page on the left hand side you notice we have generate at the top here and then we have edit here and then we have other features here, which I'm going to be explaining uh, as we move on, as we move on. So at the top here, you notice we can edit. So if you click on edit, you can edit your images here. So for generate, this is where you generate your images, images like the ones you can see here. So at the top here to begin, you notice we have choose style. If you click on that arrow, you will notice we have the style here we have the enhance we have the anime we have photographic we have digital we have comic book you notice all these images are different so you can choose the type of image you want to generate here so to begin i'll choose the enhance style the first one at the top here you notice now our style here is enhance then we have the prompt prompt this is where you type what you want to generate for instance, you notice here we have powerful sorcerers flowing robes and mystical stuff standing in dark and ominous forest, mysterious detailed, high detail, fantasy portrait. With this prompt, this is the image that has been generated. And you notice we have four images there and I'll be explaining shortly how to get the number of images here. So this is where you type the prompt. So for the negative prompt, this is where you type what you want to avoid, what you don't want in an image. For instance, you don't want maybe flowers in a certain image, you simply type the negative prompt here. What to avoid? You type flowers there. And I'll be demonstrating this, how we can use it. Then for upload image, you upload an image to create variations. Here, you will upload your own image and then you'll instruct Dream Studio to give you different variations of the same image. Again, I'll be showing you how to do that. Down here for the settings, you have this part for the aspect ratio. You notice this will generate a square image. If you click at the end here, you notice you can keep on changing the size of the image. So you can choose the size that you want here. For the image count here, this is where you get the number of images. For instance, you notice currently we have four images. If I reduce that to three images, you notice here it's three. It means here I'll get three images once I generate. Then if you click on advanced options, you notice you can change the width of your image, the height also. And then for the prompt strength, you can set this one. Prompt strength determines how much the final image will portray your prompts. So if you set a high prompt strength, it means that your image will be as close as possible to your prompt or, the, or to the prompt that you have typed. So the lower the number, then it means your image may not be as close as possible to the prompt that you typed up here as I showed you here, where you type this prompt here. So that's what you use with the prompt strength. Then the generate steps, generation steps is how many times the image is sampled and more steps may be more accurate. That means if you have a higher number of steps here, the image prompt will be interpreted more accurately. I want to generate an image of a pumpkin which is broken. So I'll type a pumpkin broken with seeds scattered. So then I can decide the number of images. I want three images. The settings here, I want it to just remain square one by one. Then 
I don't want to change these other settings here for the advanced as I explained. So I'll just leave it here. I can hide that. So I want to just get a pumpkin broken with seeds scattered. Then I click on dream. Then you'll give it time. You notice we selected three images and you notice at the top here it's already generating three images of a pumpkin broken with seeds scattered. And there we have it. You notice we have our image with seeds scattered. And that is it. So we have our three images generated. So that is how easy it is to generate images. So you can select the image that you want. Maybe you want the first one. You can click on download the image, but you can also click on edit the image here, but you can also get variations for the same, same image. So it's that easy. You can set as the initial image again, so that as you generate other images, you'll be using this one as your initial image. Another site that I use to help me develop the prompt here is a site called lexica.at and I'll be leaving that in the description of this video. So you notice with lexica we have all these images generated. So if I want to copy a certain prompt here or to just get an idea of the prompt for instance, I want to get the prompt for this teddy bear, cute teddy bear reading a newspaper. I can click on that, then you notice we have the prompt here. So I can copy the prompt, then I come back to Dream Studio, I come to the prompt, then I can paste the prompt there. So Lexica helps you to just get inspiration on how to do your prompts. So if now I click on Dream here, let me actually reduce the number of images to just two. I reduce it here, you notice now I have two here. And now I want to generate a cute teddy bear. I click on dream. You notice now it's generating two images. So give it time. And there we have it. You notice now our prompt as we got help from Lexica has helped us to generate this nice teddy bear. So you can use lexica.at to get prompts. So finally, if I upload an image here, if I click on upload to just show you how to use the upload feature, then select an image like these flowers and upload that. I can then adjust the image strength down here and then I can give a prompt here so that then I can click on generate so that whatever is generated will be based on my image here. Then click on dream. So this will help us to generate an image based on this image and that's how you use this feature. And there we have it. You now notice we have generated our images from the image we had created here. And we can click on variations so that we can have different variations. So I've clicked on variations so that I can get the same flower but in different variations now. So we give it time to see the variations. We have the variations. You notice these are slightly different from the first one. Again, as I said, if you want to download the image, you click on download image. If you want to edit the image, you click on edit image. You now notice it has shifted from generate to edit image. So now it's on this page. We can now drag that so that we can now decide what we want to do with the image. We can click on erase or that part. We can select a section where we can export and we can also download the whole, the smart export, which exports the whole image. For instance, if I click on erase, you notice I can come down here and erase this part of the image. I can erase the whole of this part again that way. So you notice that's what I can do with the edit image part. Then I can just erase the part that I want. And then once I'm through, I click on smart export here. So basically that is how you use the Dream Studio AI to generate your images. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.